Now, I don't know what's happened recently, but over the last month or so, there has been a ton of fake Game Boys just flocking the market. Now, I don't know if it's coming from one company who seems to be making them in different sizes, shapes, and forms, but I found about five or six over the last month, and I've got them all coming in. They're all coming in, so if you like that kind of stuff, hit subscribe. But the first one in, which I have right here, it's called the Classic Retro Mini Pocket Handheld Game Player, built in 260 for game support TV, but the, the title is just beyond me, but it has 268 non-repeated. This is what gets me, because if you've seen my videos, you'll know. There are just tons, about a year ago, they, they just repeat themselves, the game. So they put in like 30 games, repeat it five times, and say it was 150 games. They're like, yeah, 150 games, whatever. You know, we got this, or however many, I can't count. But now they're actually saying, as a feature, non-repeated, which I find hilarious. So let's take a look at this. Let's get this out. Let's take a look and see what this little Game Boy has to offer. So here it is. The packaging is actually somewhat better compared to all of the others I've seen. It's nice. It's got a nice finish to it. But let's take a look at the product itself. Nostalgic Classics. We'll have to see what classics it's got. So I think, I can't remember how much I got this for. I was just looking at the order then. But whatever the title says, that's how much I picked it up for. I should really know before I rip the crap out of it. So this is what it looks like. It's actually quite thick, like almost like I've got the Game Boy here. It's not as thick, but you know, it's it, it feels chunky and reminds me of this fella here. But you can kind of see what's going on. Four select buttons, analog stick, start select, and then a sound button. So it doesn't seem to have a rocker. But all right, let, let's, let's see what it's got. I want to know if it's like back clear, like whatever. And there's an instruction manual that I'll be impressed if it's in English. Yep, knowing, oh, there is English. All right, okay. Do not put the battery into a fire. Jesus Christ. I need to see how much this is. I need to see how much I've paid for this thing. Uh, I'm guessing 10 pounds. How much is it? Oh my God. This is three quid. This is four dollars. This is a three pound Game Boy. All right. That's kind of got me excited, weirdly enough. Uh, a three pound, that's probably the cheapest Game Boy I've seen. So, I, I, okay, I'm excited. Let's, let's jump in. I'm guessing it's got no batteries. No batteries, alrighty. So let's put these in. I'll tell you how it feels. We'll turn it on and I'll tell you if it's worth three quid. That's crazy, three pounds. All right, let's just jump right in. Okay. On switch, is that the same? I dig that. They've kept the uh, the Game Boy on switch on the top. I like that. A lot of the times it would just be a switch somewhere, but they've kept it on top. I like that feature. All right, okay. I've seen this main menu before, uh, and I apologize if you can't see it on the uh, top camera. My display is actually broken, so usually I look at the display to see what you guys up there are looking at, but. It's broken. So the sound is a button, mute, level one, level two, level three. So there's three levels, let's see if we can get this. Mute, probably can't hear that, level one, level two, level three, mute. All right, fair enough. So it's got English and Chinese, which is good, I guess. So they can literally ship this worldwide without changing the software. Now the screen, is actually pretty good now you get the viewing angles on it is pretty bad but if you're at it looking at it direct which you should be um it's quite bright the contrast is nice it's very saturated holy cow they have super mario bros is it did it have audio so what 
I was expecting this to be really jittery, laggy, a lot of ghosting, but this thing... Oh my god. What? This is actually quite nice to play on. Like, I feel like I could be very fluid playing this. I feel like I could probably get far in it as well because there's no actual lag, frame rate drops, none of that. Oh my god. And we've still got how many games? 267 games left to go through. Now, I can't imagine they'll have a lot of classics. They probably, or usually, they just have a couple of Mario ones and then they can get away with anything they want to do, really. But there's no, usually no other ones that they chuck in. Guys, this is actually really cool for three pounds. I'm not even BSing you right now. That Super Mario game, a press reset, should go back into the main menu. Okay, so it doesn't stay muted neither. So every time you start it, the audio is going to come on. All right, but that played Super Mario Bros. very smoothly. Incredibly smoothly for a £3 Game Boy. So I'll just shout out a few games that are on here. You got Angry Birds, Super Contrast, Super Mario, Adventure Island, Circus Charlie, Road Fight, 90s Tank, Formula One Race, uh, Kung Fu, Mario Bros, Classic, uh, Bomberman, Bomberman. Let's see if let's go into Bomberman. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, they've got that as well, and it's the legit classic. Guys, what the hell? And like. Visual-wise, it's quite nice. Like, it's hard at the top, uh, it's sharp at the top here on the corners and then curved at the bottom, very similar to the corner of the Nintendo Game Boy here. Uh, it's You can get it in a ton of different colors as well, blue, red, green, yellow, whatever you want, but I kept to this one because it reminds me of, you know, the old school colors. It's got AAA, so if you do run out, you don't have to take a charger with you. The screen is two inches. Quite bright, you know, you could be, you'll be able to play this at night as well because it is technically backlit. It's got games like Bomberman. Let me go into a few more. Uh, Happy Boys, Crazy Moto, Snowfield. Oh, there is another Happy Island. I've seen that twice. Uh, unless it's Happy Island 1 and 2, which is quite possible. Mario Prince. This is, like, I was prepared to actually slate this. And by slate, I mean say bad things about it because, you know, I'm just used to uh, these fake Game Boys being absolutely terrible. But I'm used to paying like 15 quid, where this is three pounds, which is absolutely nuts. So I'm actually gonna give that a thumbs up. Like you could give that to a friend for three quid and it said shipping on there for 70p as well. So that's only a dollar. Um, so you can get that shipped from China for 75p. Um, so I'm actually impressed Like you could give this to a friend as like a stocking filler or a, you know secret Santa gift like this is an affordable fake Game Boy I'm impressed I'm impressed if you want to see more hit me up on Twitter I'll send you a few videos pictures whatever you want but guys it's probably the best Game Boy I've played on under 10 pounds boom